Chet did not just creak. Welcome to my channel. It's a haul, as you have noticed. And while I focus on slow fashion, I occasionally buy stuff from fast fashion brands such as Zara because I've always been a Zara girl. So what I do is whenever I think that I need a few pieces to upgrade my wardrobe or to make my old stuff look new again, I focus on fabric, fit and style. And when it comes to Zara, I like to shop on the sustainable side of Zara. This is called the Join Life section. That is my current mantra on this channel. Whenever I think of buying new items, because the idea of sustainability is definitely to consume less and to consume if you absolutely have to consume natural fibers. So I focus on fibers, fabric, the fit, and the style. So this is what we're going to do today with this Zara haul. And you would notice that it is not a huge Zara haul. I only select a few pieces and these are the ones I'll be sharing with you today because this is not a channel where you shop till you drop. Neither do you consume mindlessly. So if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. If this is what you love, if this is your thing, do subscribe and click the notification bell as well so you'll be notified when I upload new video. Here's what I have for you today. I so today is the battle between the fast fashion and the slow fashion, which means we are going to compare my Zara haul with my closet haul. So I went online and you guys know I have a weakness for green. I saw this gorgeous green jumpsuit. You know, the whole shebang, wide leg, everything, green everything it's it, it just said me this doesn't do it justice so here is how I style it for you guys so I thought I'll just style this jumpsuit two ways for a day look I chose this straw bag that a friend of mine got me from Jamaica yeah man Irie and as well as my Dune London MS dupe love that sandal and yes this is the day look I really really love it and I also paired it with my tiger belt from Zara that's a great piece that just it just brings the look together so for the evening I thought I'll just grab one of my crazy clutches I love that print clutch it's such it's so striking so so this is my piece from my closet. I've had this from Zara for over five, six years now. And this is a piece that it's 100% polyester. So yeah, not great. But if you guys have not seen this, where were you? It must mean you're not watching my videos. <laughs> Go watch them. They're fun. Yeah, this is green. While it doesn't appear as vibrant green, it looks aqua. It's not. It's actually very emerald green. I don't know why the camera doesn't pick this up, but it is. And it's a great piece. It looks so elegant. I can wear this casually as well as to uh, sit down dinner. So I love the versatility about this piece. So I'll be taking back the first Zara piece and stick to what I know because I believe I'll get more wear out of this piece. This is of course right up my road. It's right up my lane. It's right up my street guys. Yes. It's 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 right up there for me. It's a top. And guys this had me at balloon sleeve balloon sleeves guys yes i have a thing for balloon sleeves whether or not they're in or out of style 
I really love this piece. This is such a gorgeous piece and it's something I really needed in my closet. I just love the big sleeves. Oh my God, look at the details, guys. So because I'm going to be going to be keeping this one for sure, I'll just get rid of that. So I'm styling it with this little bag I've had in my closet for over 18 years now. <laughs> and yes, I could hear what some of you guys are saying right now. She must be some hoarder. But I've always been like that. I like to save my things. I like to get wear for my money. I guess it's the fact that I grew up without not many things. So I like to take care of my pieces. And it turns out to be a great thing. I've been doing good all along. So yeah, as I've said, I'll be keeping this piece. I really do love it. I just love the shape love of it. It really looks high end and knowing Zara it's definitely must be a copy from one of the higher brand ends so I really really love the cut the style and the fabric and this is my closet piece I have had this piece oh do you really want to know it let's just say it's a long time ago as well and I find it to be a very good almost identical piece except that it's not long sleeve but it's given me the same vibe it's given me that loose big sleeve look and so I I really love this while it's not as light as the other piece I think it's a great piece but I still love the Zara piece as well. So I'll likely keep it because it makes a better work piece. I also found this second piece in my closet. It really looks great, doesn't it? It's giving me Zimmerman vibe as well. So I love all that. It's another old piece from winners I got ages ago as well. I think it's really, really pretty. But it doesn't fit into skirts as much as I would love it to. So that's why I am likely to keep the piece from Zara. Because it slips right into my work skirts and high-waisted pants. So while there are two great pieces, I still see a place for that piece from Zara. Because it fits better with my high-waisted pants and skirts. 100% viscose and the jumpsuit is definitely linen maybe a linen and cotton blend and i'll put the information up the screen here for you and of course i got the skirt the skirt i'm not so sure because this zipper is given issues it i cannot get it down so this is definitely one that i'll definitely take back but material wise a hundred percent viscous Mwah! it's the satin skirt if you saw from my last video when i break down the good the bad and the ugly and the dumb right ridiculous and zara the satin skirt is one of the ones that made the cut because most of them are 100% viscous. So if you're into the midi satin lingerie look, it's definitely one of the things that can transition from work into evening. So it's a great piece. And of course, I'm, I'm wearing it so I can't show you like this, but because YouTube doesn't tolerate nudity. Yeah. And we don't do nudity on this channel either. So, yeah. This is how I style it. It really pairs beautifully with this blouse. I guess it's because they are both very light fabrics. And the fact that the top has such a nice, great detail that emphasizes the waist. 
but I also found another piece in my closet and it's that stripe top well you're not seeing it quite clearly but you will yeah here it is right here I love this top I've had it for over six years now it's it's great it it was in when it wasn't in that's that's the 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 joy of keeping these pieces i feel so pleased i love it it pairs so beautifully while i am not really onto the satin trend so much because i have a few pieces in my closet and they're very high maintenance oh my god they are <laughs> But yeah, I paired it with this piece as well. And this might look like a piece from Zara, but it's not. It's a piece from Fashion Over that I actually got recently. And that's because Fashion Over owed me a $20. And so I, I've just decided to just take it before I lose it. So yeah, and I actually do like it. It's 100% cotton. So love it. So, in terms of skirt pieces, I don't have any shortage of satiny, silky, midi skirts in my wardrobe. I, In fact, I recently found this piece. You don't want to know. Actually, you do want to know where I find it. And I'll tell you in another video. But it's a great piece. And... This is another piece that I got from my seamstress. I have a local seamstress that I, she's awesome. She made my greatest coat on earth. So, yeah, whenever I need these pieces, I often go to local places. This is a piece that was made for me from one of my friends from ages ago. It's about 20 years old. Or 18, 18 to 20 years old. This second piece as well is the same age because they were both made at the same time. So these are pieces that have been in my closet for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't wear them as much because they're, as I've said, they're so high maintenance. If anything spills on them, it just stays. It stains and it's annoying. So I don't often invest in them, despite the fact that the trend has come around. I haven't invested, really. Well, except for a piece that I got on sale from H&M, which I would show you guys. And that's because it's dark. <laughs> this is the next top, and it's described as brown on the website but to me it's not really brown is it it's more of a rust orangey color when i ordered the zara top i actually thought it was a brown like the one the brown stripe in this this is a gorgeous brown and this is my favorite brown shade this is brown this is what i had in mind not this <laughs> this is not brown this is brown. <laughs> so I have two tops like this in my closet already. So what's the point? As much as I wanted a button down, I don't think that for $49, um, I need it in my wardrobe. It's not a need. If it was brown, for sure. But it's not. It's a really good fabric. It's viscose, so it's definitely one of those natural fibers that are great for the environment and can last you a while in your wardrobe. But this is not anything great. In fact, I got a top like this from my dad. I took it um, when my dad died and I've been wearing it. It has very sentimental value. And yes, I'm not gonna lie, it's a great button down. But this, there's nothing great or exceptional to it. It's just a regular button down. Um, but 
to consider whether or not I'm really, really going to keep this, I have to revisit my wardrobe. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do. So this is the top from my dad. And I actually prefer this one because it has these gorgeous black and white contrasting buttons. So I love that. So I really, really love that. I love this. This this compared to this i'm definitely choosing this one so yeah it's not the brown that i expected it to be and at the same time i have one that is also very similar in color if you look it's it's just it's the same thing it's the same shade this one is from h m and you guys have seen it several times it's one with a pussy bow string at the neck and I love these types of tops. It also has a gorgeous balloon sleeve that I love. So why? Why buy this now for $49? It's definitely not a necessity for me. So those are some of the things I consider when I'm purchasing something and regardless of whether or not I like it, I take these things into consideration and I look into my wardrobe to see what I have before I actually keep an item. So, um, no. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and remember, sustainability matters, which means you focus on natural fibers, fabric, then fit, then style and you don't buy new polyester items. Polyester is bad. So thank you guys so much for watching and as I always say, remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous. Love you.